I heard a funny story about you. I heard you got locked in our store. So it was when the um, Chanel Yetis were, oh. were in store. The big yeah. furry ones after they did the pol kind of the polar yes. uh, ice field collection. Yeah. That was we got locked in because she had been deliberating about this pair of. Um, Mew Mew harness booties and when we tried to get out it was already closed and I was like should we go upstairs and just wear the Yetis and hang out today? Yeah. I mean, this is every girl's dream. Um, but they let us out. Yeah. You actually kind of remember all different parts of your life by what Outfits, you were wearing. totally. I think you've said like yeah. guys don't think that way. Most guys no. would, they would have, don't remember what no, they were wearing. Unless it's like, oh my god, that's the girl who was topless the last time I met her. <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. That was a good collection we just saw. Oh, I loved it so much. I it's been my really favorite collection. Did. I really did. I really did. I just, you know what? Philip just pulls up with, he pulls up with something very new each time. That guy has a lot of ideas. And the fact that he's doing those sheer pants and the bare midriffs and the I love Nueva York t shirts. It just makes me so happy. The floral jumpsuit. I'm, oh, I love that. that last, suede and, and, overalls. Oh, oh those, those pink suede overalls. And how about those last those last five looks too with that, that color block mix of the different chambrays and denim. Yeah. Oh, I love You know. Totally. I hear you just got married, yes. by the way. All right, so what were you wearing when you met? Was it something that was man repellent? Obviously no, not. No, it's actually so funny. We met at a Halloween party. I was 17. I was a senior in high school, and I was dressed as a slutty flight attendant. I think the big man That's repelling... That's not a repellent. Yes, I think the man repelling facet of this flight attendant outfit was that it was all open here and just revealed that I have absolutely no chest. What do you think their guys are going to think of the, of the new emerging gladiator boot sandal? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Probably. <laughs> why, why are you wearing those straps? All over your, your legs. Knees? Exactly. But they're really good. I've, I've never been as happy as when I leave home just getting just for dressed yourself. for me. I do notice that I do dress for where I think I'm going. Like Ranjana Khan, she's always, you never know what she's going to have on. Right. So I kind of like up my surprise factor. I take little mini risks because uh -huh. I know I'm going to see her. Right. Um, and then, of course, if you're going to have, you know, lunch with a with this uh, shirt and tie kind of guy, I might, I might take it down a notch. I'm having lunch with a skirt and tie kind of guy, I'm in like ripped denim cutoffs. And oh, good for you. A bralette. I'm just like surprised. What do you mean we're going to PJ Clark's? I had uh, dinner with uh, Jim Gold, who was our, who was our president. And there was, uh, the Whitney Museum was doing the Summer of Love. And I, I got this very cool afro and this duster jacket and uh, this long, flowy, hip, beautiful, like hippie dress. and these like wraparound shades. I was so excited to wear this. And, and all of a sudden Jim goes, hey, listen, what are you doing before the, sh what are you doing before the show? I said, you want to have dinner? I said, oh, I'm wearing, if you're willing to come with me as, as I am, yeah. we'll go. I said, just let me pick the restaurant. People usually ask me what I'm expecting to see. And I'm yeah. like, I hope I'll be, yeah. I hope it'll be unexpected. What I have realized or found is that it seems like the inklings of trends always start brewing the season before and they are full-fledged the following year. It was like the Curious Files of Miss Beeswax and it was this like criminal court book that I read in second grade and I can't remember the name but I loved it so much. I was like I'm gonna be a reporter. But that was inspiring. That was inspiring for you. Yeah, and then I became a we fashion. We kind of wanted blogger. to be spies. Thank you. thank you, Bergdorf Goodman, for the ride. Oh no, thank you for it taking time to sit with us. It was a good, good